Good afternoon, YouTube. My name is Will. This is my Evo 8 RS. Welcome back to another daily video. Um, this is like day 27 or 26, 28 in a row. I think June 4th was my first. So this really wasn't planned. It just sort of happened. And don't really have an end date in mind. So we'll just we'll keep going. We'll see what happens. AC is working, which is nice. It's intermittent. Uh, it works more than it doesn't work, so that's good. Uh, I still gotta get the tire patch. When I take that in to get a patch, I'm hoping to do both at the same time. In the meantime, today's topic, we are talking about, oh, wait, uh, one other thing. If you have questions about buying an Evo or anything like that, Instagram is the best way. Those links are below as well as on the screen right now. As for today's video, talk about, is now the time to buy an Evo? And I think the answer is yes. So if you've seen like the market update videos I do where I'm just kind of browsing for Evos online, I've been doing that on my own for years. And there's been a dramatic shift these last few years, really kind of since I've owned mine. Uh, when I finally bought this one, which was actually my second of three Evos that I've owned, you know, I didn't shop them as much for a while thereafter, you know, because it didn't really care as much anymore. So when I kind of started doing these, started doing the YouTube channel and everything, kind of got the idea behind it again and started browsing for Evos again, I was actually kind of shocked at the difference that just a few years made to the market. Um, you know, when I bought mine, I was pretty sure it had kind of bottomed out. Um, you know, I, you weren't seeing anything much lower than what they were going for and different things. Um, but there's absolutely no doubt now that they've bottomed. Uh, they've been bottomed out for some time. In fact, I think they technically bottomed out even before I bought this one. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're definitely past the point of waiting for prices to fall, that's for sure. Now, if you want an Evo 10, those are still gonna fall uh, different years. The 08s, they're getting close to the bottom, but they still got a ways to go. Um, so if you're looking for just like the cheapest Evo 10, that's gonna be a while. Um, and then obviously, you know, the later years, the 14s, the 15s, they've got a long ways to go. So plenty of depreciation left in those. Uh, the nines are obviously done. So as, as well as the eights. The other reason that now's the right time is I've noticed a very difference in the amount of stock Evos for sale. You know, one of the things I liked about my Evo was, yeah, it had a little bit higher mileage than I would have ideally wanted but it was completely stock. You know, there had not been any motor or anything like that done to it. Any suspension, bodywork, nothing. So it's just 100% stock. Those are getting to be virtually impossible at this point. So as luck would have it, I found the RS again. I don't know, what do you think? I kinda actually wish I had the ST to compare. I don't think I could do the crazy blue though. I like that it matches the brakes, that's nice. I mean, it's a, like, it's a nice blue color. Like, I'll give it that. Way better in person than I think it looks in, even in photos. In photos, it looks bright and, like, in your face. Yeah, but it actually looks like a good color in person. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? If I was to get another car, should it be that or a second Evo? What would be a better daily? Not only have prices definitely bottomed out on uh, the nines a while ago, the eights are starting to bottom. The eights have bottomed out. Tens are still going, but eights and nines, they're done. You know, Doug Demir actually did a video on this uh, a couple of weeks ago about cars going up in value. And while he didn't list the Evo, um, and I don't know if the Evos are going to go crazy, like kind of like how the Supras have. Um, 
but I can kind of see it, to be honest. Uh, you know, there wasn't that many of them made. You know, when you look at, like, the STIs, they're just making those things like it's their, well, it is their job. Um, you know, there weren't a lot of Evos made by comparison. There's not a e lot of Evos left for sale, much like if you pull up Supers for sale. I, you know, I don't really have any interest in the Super, but every once in a while, I, I look them up just to kind of see. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, the signs are there for them to start going considerably higher. Uh, so, if you've got the means and it's a car you've been wanting, you know, I definitely wouldn't put it off anymore at this point. You know, I would be... I'm not saying you gotta go out and buy it today or anything, but if you're at a point where you want one and you can afford one, I would start looking. The good thing is you don't have to like rush. You know, nothing crazy is gonna happen in a, a three to six month span, really. Um, but I would, I would definitely start looking for sure. You know, with these daily videos, I've been doing so well of like shooting a video start to finish in a set time, and that did not happen. I arrived back home, the wife had taken our HVAC apart to clean it out, which granted it needed it, but it was one of those. Anyways, you know, one thing I did want to add is, you know, one of my dream cars is a GT3 RS. And I bet if I spent some time getting online, getting on the forums, I could find a pretty good deal on one. Or get to a point where I could go like, yeah, that's a good deal. I can't afford it, so it doesn't matter. And I bring that up because if you want an Evo and you think you might want to get one in the future, yeah, definitely keep an eye on the prices. I mean, like I said, I watched them for years. Um, but don't buy something that you can't afford. So it doesn't matter how good of a deal it is. If it's going to hurt you financially or put you in a situation, it's just not worth it. There'll be better stuff later. And whatever that good deal may be, the hurt that it's going to put on you financially, if that's your situation, is going to negate any of the benefits. I know, buddy. Yeah, you agree. So with that, I uh, appreciate you guys as always. If you want to see more of the pups, Enzo and Lotus, I do vlogs with them. They also have their own channel and their own Instagram. I'll put it on the link. Put it on uh, the screen now. Other than that, like if you enjoyed the content. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, if you've been watching the values and different things, what you've seen. Appreciate you guys as always. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. All right, buddy? Oh, thanks. Thanks.